Hello and welcome to Louise Singleton Creations. The other day, my husband and I were talking about when we were children, we used to see icicles at winter time, snow and icicles, and we rarely see either of those things anymore. And it got me thinking about icicles and how I'd quite like to make some using UV resin. But it was one thing making them, but then I thought, what will I do with them? And then I had the idea of making a candlestick. And so this video is what came out of that conversation and that idea. So if you're curious to see how I made my winter themed candlestick, stay tuned and enjoy the video. First, I'm going to make the icicles and I'm going to make them on the back of my coaster mould from Moulds and Shapes. Any silicon will do, but a mould works perfectly, especially if it's a big one like this, because you can make multiple icicles all at once. I'm using J. Diction's High Viscosity UV Resin. You don't need to use the High Viscosity UV Resin, but I do find it works really well because it domes nicely. It's nice and thick and you get a nice doming effect. But like I say, any UV Resin will work for this. And as you can see, I'm simply squeezing it out into long lines, putting more at one end so it's thicker at one end and thinner at the other. Then I placed it under my UV lamp for two minutes and they were fully cured. Once cured, I just peeled them off the silicone mould and I had four more icicles to add to my growing collection, all ready for the next step. Right then, this next part is optional. I wanted an indentation in the top of my candlestick to place my candle into just for safety so that it wouldn't, you know, slide off the top. And I found a glass which was just about the size of the candle, a little bit bigger. So I'm using that as my cutter. And I've got some eye gum paste, which is like a two part silicon molding putty. And it's really quick. It cures in about 10 minutes. So you're not having to wait around or make barriers or anything like that for your insert. So I took out equal parts of part A and B. I just weighed each part and rolled them together until it was one colour and without any streaks in and then you know it's completely mixed. Next I took a piece of acrylic sheet. You don't have to use acrylic sheet but that's what I had. It was nice and smooth and firm. That's what you need to roll it out on. Something that's smooth, shiny and firm. You could use a place mat or um, even a coaster, you know, if you've made a resin coaster, anything like that, that's smooth and firm, just to roll out your paste. And I'm using my rolling pin with the guides on, so I know I've got a constant thickness all the way along. Then I cut the circle with my glass and left the glass in position while the silicon insert cured for about 10 minutes before, you know, taking it off. So you'll see that in a second, just like magic. One thing you didn't see me do was using up the excess of that moulding paste just to make a mould of a little bicycle wheel for another project. I didn't want to waste that leftover stuff so I found something to mould and so that's why you can see that there. But I'll show you the demoulding of that just to show you how robust this moulding paste is. So you see I had to bend it back to get the wheel out and it was nice and strong. So yeah, that will come in handy for another project that I've got in mind. Right then, so as you can see, there's a little bit of a lip around the edge and that just needed to be trimmed off and then it was ready to go into the mould. At first I placed the insert into the mould the way it should go with the completely flat surface against the mould but I noticed that there was an air bubble on the other side and I didn't want that to be showing on my finished piece so I thought at the time it might be a good idea to put it in the other way so I had the flat side facing up but really I shouldn't have done that you'll see why in a little while you can probably already guess why <laughs> 
okay, we're back in frame. Sometimes I forget I'm filming and forget to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. So sorry about that last little bit. Now I'm using J Diction's four hour resin for the next bit. I've mixed some up already. It's a one to one ratio. And I've also added some opal glitter from Let's Resin. And all I'm doing is adding enough to just cover the surface of that insert and around the edges. I don't want to go all the way to the top and you'll see why very soon. So yeah, that's all I'm doing. I just need a little bit. And I do the same thing in the other one. Just fill it about halfway. Right then, so I've made the top and the bottom of my candlestick. Now it's time for the stem. Now, I didn't film this bit because it was very straightforward. I just used some deep cast resin from J Diction in a pot mould. It's a hexag octagonal, yeah, octagonal pot mould. Just a cheap one from Amazon and I made two little pots the same. And this was a bit of a mistake. I decided to add them while the resin was still tacky. My original plan was to let that first lot of resin cure and glue them into position before finishing off, you know, filling up the mould with the resin. But I decided that if it would be a really good idea to put it in the tacky resin. But look, can you see what's happened? It moved. <laughs> and so... One of my pieces has got a really off-centre piece. Yeah, if that makes sense. It's really off-centre. But I carried on. Never mind, eh? Next time, I won't do it like that. I won't do it in the tacky resin. I'll wait for the resin to cure and glue it into position. I think what happened was, because I was filming, I didn't want to put my head under the camera and make sure it was completely central. And then it slips a bit as well. So, yeah. So what you've just seen me do is top up the resin in the coaster mould, and that will help to glue the um, stem bit, the little jar that I've just put in, help to keep that completely, permanently into position. So once that top layer was cured, it was time to take them out of the mould. And as you can probably tell, because I put that silicon insert in upside down, some of the resin seeped underneath. So I'll get back to that in a minute. I kind of thought, thought about it while I was <laughs> demoulding the other one. I thought it might be really tricky to get the insert out, but actually it came out really easy. So it wasn't actually a problem. Once I went back to it, I just dug my nail in a little bit and it came out really, really easy. And I just needed to sand around those inner edges. But look at that other piece. Oh my goodness, how wonky is that? <laughs> I, was, I was just praying that once I put the icicles around the edge, it would disguise the fact that it was completely wonky. <sighs> These things happen, don't they? Sometimes it's more with some people than others, but yeah, I seem to, it seems to happen to me quite a lot. But the thing is, you should just never give up. Don't give up, just keep going. <laughs> right, once I'd tidied all of that up, I used some E6000 Plus glue around the rim of each of those jar bits. I keep calling them jar bits, you know what I mean, the little pots that I put on. <laughs> but the thing is, I forgot to film it. And so you're just seeing after I feel after I put the glue on, oh, I wasn't having a good day. So, yeah, I just put glue around both the rims and put them together and waited for the glue to dry. And that's as simple as it was, really. You didn't need to see it, did you? <laughs> so, right, it's time to add the icicles now. And I'm using my UV resin to glue them into position. I've got my glove on my left hand, which is the one that's coming into contact with the resin. So I just add a little bit at a time. Hold the icicle into position and then hold my UV lamp over it. And even though my thumb was over the icicle where the glue was, the light still gets through the clear coaster and it's enough to just hold it into position. And then you can move your thumb and put it under the light again. So I did that all the way around and I didn't film it all because it took too long. <laughs> 
Right once I'd finished adding all of those icicles, I decided to add some more UV resin just over the tops where I'd put, glued them into position just to give them some extra strength because I didn't want them snapping off you know if you caught one with your finger I didn't want it to come off and I thought if I go around it with the UV resin it's more likely to hold them all together and none of the bits are like going to you know fall off easily it should be all right the thing with using uv resin as glue is it's not ideal it can be a little bit brittle it holds things into position really well temporarily but it's not always best if you want something permanent that's why i didn't use it for the gluing the two parts together but for the icicles it was just convenient, you know, because it's so quick to put it under the lamp to cure it. You don't have to wait for the glue to dry. And so, yeah, I'm just going over it, over the top, just to make sure that it's secure. So once I'd done that all the way around, my wonky candlestick was finished. And I actually like the way it looks, other than the wonkiness, but it gives it character, doesn't it? None of us are perfect. <laughs> not even candlesticks so yeah as long as you kind of position it the right way when you finish if it's wonky no one will ever know but when it's rotating like this it's a little bit harder to disguise the fact that it's completely off center but hey ho what do you think do you think it looks good anyway i think it's got a really good wintry look Hmm, yeah, I quite like it. And I think the concept of using the little jars or pots or whatever you would call them in the coaster mould to make the candlestick can be used in a variety of ways, really. This is just to give you an idea. You might not want to use the icicles. You might want to try something completely different. But the idea is there and I think it's quite a good one. So that's the end of the video for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you again next week. Thank you for watching and bye for now.